I'm trying to show what life occurs underneath the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, so our process is to go out and uh, <clears throat> use a plankton net because it's a surface sample. Weather, weather we tend to ignore, but the tides we've been playing very carefully because the, uh, the tides and the currents are formidable in a small, any vessel, but a small vessel in particular has to pay attention. Principally, I was, uh, uh, I'm a photographer, but the interface or interaction, the collaboration between art and science, that's something I've been interested in for a long time, and, I, and trying to show the diversity of life. Well, David. Pretty much the spot. We've arrived. So imagine holding uh, a one cubic foot frame stationary underneath the bridge, and then how much life would pass through it over the course of a normal day. And uh, that's a that's a lot of water. And in that water is a great deal of life. You can't show that much because it, when you run the calculation, it adds up to be something like 2.6 billion creatures. It's, you know, they're, they're, it would be like the Milky Way tenfold. Right. So there's more life through a little 12-inch frame uh, each day than all the cars that have ever crossed the bridge. So right down here at the bottom is a little crab uh, megalope. And then there's a bunch of very, very small copepods that are too small to tell exactly what they are until you get them under the under a lens with uh, at high magnification. So this little guy we haven't seen before. The same thing that made all these creatures in this drop of water made me. So um, I find great solace in that this is wonderfully complicated and and endlessly fascinating and uh, a great source of joy to ex to explore look at him he's great he's totally different than the last one that i photographed from the tide pool <laughs> fantastic See what else we can find here. It's about a thousand coke pods in this one tray. <laughs> 